Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a good Sunday so far. And we're going to start our new tangle for today. And we start um, with our 01 pen or whatever gel pen you might have, a pencil, a tortillon, uh, or if you don't have a tortillon, a Q-tip, or some people call it earbuds. And of course, our two by two tile or piece of paper that you've marked two by two. I want everyone to take some deep breaths in through their nose, out through their mouths, in through their nose, out through their mouth. One more. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Okay, we could get started. Um, gratitude and appreciation for being here again and having the time to create something new. And we're not going to do our corner dots today or our border or our string. We're just gonna go right into our tangle. And these are our monotangles, so meaning one tangle on a card. And today we're gonna do toodles. And I'm doing toodles for Sabrina. She wanted some flowers and leaves. So toodles could be a flower or a leaf, however you want to interpret it. And um, this is, oh, uh, video 10. I almost forgot to mark that. Video 10. And while we're here on the back of our card, let's sign it. And the date is 419. And I always put the date where, uh, the place where I live. Okay, now we're gonna get started. Now I'm gonna do toodles for you and then I'm gonna show you different variations of toodles. So what we gonna do is we start with the center of toodles which is um, a curved line. And then we make, we meet at the point and we make another curved line and meet into a point. And Toodles, we're going to make um, two fiscue. That's why I showed you fiscue yesterday. So we're going to make a fiscue this way with a teardrop, not a circle. And we're gonna have another one come this way. Now, depending upon how long you make the center, that will give you a different look in your toodles. It could be short and squat, it could be long and thin, whatever effect you want it to look. So what we do now is we start at this point up here and we come around and we meet somewhere on the fiscue line. And then we're going to do the same thing. We're gonna come around and we're gonna circle into that fiscue line. Now, you could leave toodles like that or you can have it like flapped over on one side or you could have it flapped over 
on both sides. Now that little turn in gives it more character. Now, the way Toodles was created is that you can blacken this, you could leave it white, or you could put other designs in here. So being that I did it thick, I should have done it thinner for you and then I could have blackened it. But since I did it thick, I'm gonna put orbs in it. And I showed you how to do those orbs. So you're just gonna fit those orbs in there. I'm not wearing my glasses, so I have to get my glasses on. Okay. And then I'm gonna turn the piece around so that I could it could be closer to me and I could see better. Now there's several different ways you could do these orbs. You could do them like this, or you could do it where they look like they're behind each other, and I'll show you um, what that looks like. Now what you're gonna do is you're going to color in all those little white pieces around the orbs. And toodles you could make as a singular leaf or flower, or you could put them in groups, whatever you want to do with it, because this is your artwork. So just make sure you, oops, sorry, I'm not on camera. You color all those little white bits so that it makes the orbs pop out a little. Okay. Now, that is Toodles. So I'm going to show you how to um, shade that. So being you have this little curl, I would put some graphite right under there. And I would turn the tile and I would do it right under the other one. A little graphite, not much graphite, just a little. And um, I put a little graphite down here and a little graphite down here. And then to shade the orbs, I would just go down one side of all the orbs. Okay, now take your tortillon and you just Gently rub that one side of the orbs, not bringing it out too much into it, but you wanna bring it out a little and just rub it in circles. And there's your shading for the orbs. Now for the shading on here, you would just circle around and get that graphite grounded into the paper circle around here, maybe get it some in there, and then turn your paper and do the same on this side. Just bring a little down there, turning your, your artwork. And that's a quick shading for what I like to do is I like to you could leave this white or just make this a little darker than the shading you did inside the flower. And then just smooth that out. 
Remembering to always use the side of your tortillon and the side of your pencil. If you use the point, um, you're going to ruin it. You're going to squash it. And there you have toodles. So now uh, you could put more toodles in if you want or just leave it the one. For reference, I just like the one. And what you're going to do, you're going to add your initials or your chop. I have plenty of room today, so I'm going to use my chop. my chop and you already should have signed it dated it video 10 and now I'm going to show you some samples of other toodles so here's a toodle and I used orbs but I if you notice I have the orbs looking like they're behind each other. So you would draw one orb, like, and then I'll show you how to do that. Um, but that's, that's a toodle. Let me show you the other toodles. These are toodles. Here's some more toodles. Here's more. And here's another version of toodles. So you can make toodles very abstract where you don't really know what it is. Or you can make it to look like a petal or a, or a leaf. Now here is some more. This is a short squatty one with... Um, a little one turn in, one flipped side. Then we have this one that has the black, the black in center with the white flips. Then we have this one with the orbs like we just did. And then we have this one where you could fill that center piece with any other tangle that you want. Just make it big enough to fit a tangle in there. And let me show you how to do those orbs um, that look behind one another. So, we're going to make our center. Now, again, you see how, depending on how long you make the center, will determine how short and squatty your toodles is gonna look. Like this is thinner so and longer, so it's a longer one. And you could play around with the center part and have a different look with each toodle that you make. Now, to make um, the orbs that look like they're behind one another, you could start with one full orb and then you come out to the top side and the bottom side at a diagonal and then meet it here. And these are round ones. You could make them look oblong and I'll show you. So I'm gonna turn Whoops, where to go? Uh, where to go? There it is. Okay, I'm going to have to hold it up. Okay, so we're going to make a line at the diagonal, another line at the diagonal, 
and then bring it around. Okay, and that's how you get them to look like one is behind another after this middle one. Now these are sort of rounds, um, which are okay. And here, I made it look more, a eh, little elongated round. But have fun with this. You could do a, a lot of interesting things with this tangle. And Sabrina, I hope that gives you some ideas for your beautiful pottery. And that's it for today. Have a wonderful day. If you're interested in uh, a beginner's class, let me know. I'm getting a list together of who's interested. And if you want to learn more, find a ZZT teacher to take some lessons with because they will teach you the ins and the outs of um, tangling. Have a great day. See you tomorrow. Bye.